Well, I had some people ask me how to modify the transducers. This is a single head transducer. And Hollywood 7 takes no responsibility for you as the user if you build this or use these devices in gasoline or any other fluids. So, I'll show you how you do this. When you buy these, there's a piece that sticks up about half inch high off the top of this. You see the two holes. There's one here and here. I cut them off pretty high up around the rub top rubber. This is only made for to know the resistance of water. And that's what that is. And um, that's why you have to modify it to work in gasoline. So what you do is uh, you have two, once you cut it high, you have two solid copper pieces of wire sticking straight up. You set your meter for either resistance or continuity. This is set for continuity. You can see uh, it beeps. And then um, touch the case, and you touch this one, and if you get nothing, then you try this one, and now you have continuity. That's the one you're going to ground. When you ground that, you want to um, go to the side and um, sand off the, the uh, chrome here, and you'll get down to, I guess, brass. Solder that down. I filled this with PC7, and that's it. Now it should work in almost anything. Um, this is using a ceramic disc. They do sell new Teflon disc. They're supposed to last five times longer. You unscrew this, the disc comes out, there's an O-ring and a spring in there. And um, the mist maker utilizes electrical oscillation at ultrasonic frequencies. The ceramic changes the electrical oscillation into mechanical oscillation, which creates the mist and water spray. This oscillation also produces negative ions. So, um, that's about what they do, and inside my uh, generator, I have three three head. They're a little bigger, and mine's about the size of a hockey puck, and they get expensive as you get bigger and bigger. So um, that's how you do that. And then some people ask me how to build that um, flash arrester. I can show you that. It's pretty simple. I did test it. You can look at my three videos. I did it on a. Uh, just a vapor. I did it under a low pressure and a higher pressure and it didn't explode the canister I had about 20 feet away from me. So I take no responsibility for this either. You just have to try it at your own risk. So um, what I did is you get these from the hardware store. Got this at Ace. It's a filter washer. I grind down the edge black, that little rubber area, so I can um, get it to fit inside. I think these are half inch. You can build this any size you want um, I did this is all brass I put the washers in there like that with the screen protruding into the hole and then all you gotta do is get some brass wool like that stuff it in there and close it up I have washers in both ends that end and this end and then the brass wools in the middle and that seemed to work so um, that's what I wanted to show you and if you want to build this good luck have a great day. Bye.